नहीं ना क्या हाय लिटिल टॉक्स हाय लिटिल टॉक्स ब्यूटीफुल वाव लुक एट दैट सो दिस इज द फ्रंट हॉल एंड दिस दिस इज एक्चुअली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ स्प्रिंगफील्ड कैसल प्री 1921 because in 1921 the castle was all burned down by the IRA okay. to prevent the black and tans using it as a garrison okay so the house was much bigger then than right. it is now okay and you can see the tower house which we're going to visit the norman tower house at the back here and then there was a big mansion built on to that and then a three story mansion built by the fitzgerald so the fitzgerald built the tower and then the uh, their cousins the fitzmorrises built this big house beautiful It's kind of like a very mini Downton Abbey with everyone in their uniforms <laughs> and two ladies in the carriage going out for a ride. Amazing, yeah. amazing. And there's a maid in a uniform peeping out of the window upstairs. <laughs> we always think it's funny. Brilliant. I always say that we have Americans who come here who who emigrated from this area, you know, and they come here and they say, "Oh, my great 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 grandmother used to work here." And I say, "Here's a picture." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing to have. And tell me who am I talking to? This is Jonathan Sykes. We, we, my wife Betty and I manage Springfield Castle. Amazing! Well, you're doing a great job. It's really beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks, Jonathan. This portrait here yes. is Bob Muskerry. He was here in um, 90. He was actually, ironically, he was away when the house was burned, and he came back to find a smouldering ruin and rebuilt the house as it is today. Oh, wow. And um, so he would have been my wife Betty and her brother's great uncle. and then when he um when he died Betty's father became Lord Muskerry and took over the title and the castle and now her brother Robert is has the title okay so it passed down the line mm, it passes down the, the male line <laughs> i can't miss this guy here this is pretty cool you know the dragon all the details There's no one getting past him anyway that's for sure <laughs> amazing beautiful so what we'll do now is we'll yes. go round into the norman tower well it's not a norman tower because the fitzgeralds of course were more irish than the irish themselves <laughs> as the saying goes so the, it was built by the fitzgeralds so it was an irish tower okay good so uh we'll go in there because we restored that since Brilliant. 2012 Love we started restoring it it was a total ruin until wow then, yeah. that must have been a lot of work yeah. A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. Okay, following you. Yeah, this is the Fitzgerald's Tower House. And this would have been a two-story part of the Tower House here, but because it's such a lovely space under this vault, when we restored it, we only put in the balcony. to accommodate the doors here out onto the balcony and there's a guard room at the end which protects the front door which would have been the tor- door in that corner on the north side because the- these castles were defensive and they only had one door and if you got in through the door there's a little guard room above the door and the- in-, in the floor of the guard room there is a grid and that was called the murder hole Oh. So if you got in you could be murdered from above. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. God, so you started the renovations on this on in 2012, was it? In 2012 it was covered in ivy and it was water pouring down through it. There was no oh roof. And no roof. Uh, it was a total ruin really. It's just as you see a lot of these towers out in the fields where they haven't been restored. And you've lovely tapestries, you've lovely things in well, here. Well, yes, they're all things we've kind of found in auction sales and things that would suit great the idea. place. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. These were sort of medieval-y pictures from some kind of German book, I think. Oh, they're But they beautiful. all tell a little story. <laughs> they're beautiful. I love them. And you have events in here then, Jonathan? Yeah, we hold uh, well, we hold our weddings in here. Yep. We we set it up with um Amazing. like a, a little chapel. Okay. And then on Wednesday evenings there's a local lady comes and she do, uh, brings her group to do yoga in here. 
because we have underfloor heating under the tiles. Well, so, this certainly is a modern tower, yeah. for sure. It, and then we also do traditional music and dancing. And we did a medieval banquet in here recently. Beautiful. So, and I say for people who, who want to experience it, it's really a lovely venue to experience it in. And if people want to book things, Jonathan, they can do so on the website, can they? Yes, they have to get in contact with my daughter, Karen, because Karen. Karen deals with all the bookings and things. Great, you know? yeah. So. And I'll put a link to your website below the video as well. Yes. Okay. Somebody just left the building. <laughs> now I come to the top of the tower. More windows up the top. And here is the piece de resistance. Wow, and you have a bar up here, so it's well worth yeah, coming well, to the top of the tower. The glasses are all dirty at the moment because there was a wedding party <laughs> up here this week. Sign of a good week, party. And it hasn't been cleaned up yet. Beautiful, and you have your own oh, fireplace. A, the fireplace is enormous, yes. I don't know about this guy above the fireplace, so. <laughs> well, well, we actually, we farm deer here. Okay, oh, you farm be, deer? That would have been one of our stags. Oh, really? Yes. And you have another level up again, Jonathan? Yes, yeah, there's... So all these beams, you see all the oak beams here and all the timber, yes. that was all cut here on the farm from our own trees. We brought in a mobile sawmill and we cut all these massive beams and the floorboards. Wow. We so have a fantastic is... carpenter, a guy called Barry Hamilton, who's a local man from Dramina. And he is the most skilled tradesman and craftsman you would ever meet. And he's, he's primarily a carpenter but he laid the floors and he did almost everything. Incredible. And we had a local guy from the village, Podrick O'Shea, and he chipped out all the old mortar and re-pointed re every single stone in the place. Oh my God, you'd need some patience for that, yeah. wouldn't you? Yes, he was oh. chipping away for about three years. Oh, it's so easy, <laughs> easy. Yeah. Beautiful tapestry again, beautiful. Yes. This is the Dean family crest that oh. um, my my brother-in-law's pride and joy, obviously. And the motto underneath is 40 et fidele nihil difficil. And it means nothing is difficult to the strong and faithful. Oh, good one. It is a good motto, <laughs> yes. So it's in fact, it, his children, uh, he brought all his family here for his 70th birthday. And his children had made had this made for him and had it unveiled it in here for, for his birthday oh, present. Oh, wonderful, mm. wonderful. And a great, a location to celebrate yes. it in. Amazing. I can definitely see a good party being held here. Yes. <laughs> and then this, this is um, a copy of a painting in the National Gallery. It's a copy of the centre part of a painting. The okay. painting itself is enormous in the National Gallery. Right. But it's the marriage of Strongbow and Aoife, oh, yes. which is really the story of the Normans arriving in Ireland. So this was Dermot McMorrow, Aoife's father, who was King of Leinster. And he invited this guy, Richard de Clare, and all his knights to come over and assist him. And they came and basically decided they wanted a bit of Ireland themselves. So, and eventually this guy, Richard de Clare was nicknamed Strongbow, I think because he brought these huge, um, these men with these huge art, uh, English bows, okay. which the Irish couldn't defend themselves against. Okay. You know? So, uh, but interestingly, the, one of the men standing behind Strongbow is John Fitzgerald. And so he would have been the first Fitzgerald ever to come to Ireland. And so his descendants would have been someone who built this, this, built this tower. So we just thought it was a nice bit of history to oh, show it's people. Great. It's great to have it. You're right. It's beautiful. And most of our guests who come, you know, they love that story about Strongbow and Aoife. It's very he married, he eventually ends up marrying Aoife. But it's interesting because. <laughs> Strombo is. What do you think? He's also in the in the whole painting. If you see his feet, he's standing with his foot on a Celtic cross, and I think it denotes, you know, the end of the Celtic era and the beginning of the Norman oh, era. Of course, of course. But yes. the painting itself was painted in about 1854, I think. So it's it's a romantic version of what was going on back in the I 1100s. Bet you. <laughs> I bet you. Yeah. But it's great to have it. It was painted by uh, an artist called David MacLeese. But as I say, it's in, the, it's in the entrance hall in the National Gallery. Do you want to go up to the next level? Yes, please. Beautiful. Well, up here, now. Up here, isn't it? So this, this roof was actually made by a guy called Paul Price. He's a specialist in medieval oak beams. 
and um, he, he, we put the roof on in 2014. But he, it took him 26 weeks to make the roof trusses in his workshop, and then a whole week we, we spent putting them up here. But they all fitted together perfectly, and they're all, they're all held together with oak dowels. There's no steel in the, in the roof wow. at all. That's craftsmanship. Yeah. Stunning. And, and then we paneled them slated as well. Oh. And your big fireplaces. And would they have been kind of the original fireplaces? No, the fireplaces know. were both actually um, very badly damaged. Okay. But we could, there were, the, the side columns were still here. There was a huge hole here. You can see the mark where we've replaced the stone. But we could, in, in these, even though these columns were shattered at the sides, we could see the detail of what they had been like. So we made a drawing of what we thought they were like. And um, we got this um, Very good. company called Allstone made the fireplaces for us. Beautiful. And we had to bring up the stone and put it together. The, the lintel stone on the fireplace below, which is bigger than this, weighs three tons. <laughs> so it was a bit, quite a job putting it up. Oh my God. Mm. And you have the stones just now then as well. Yeah, these were, obviously the roof was changed over the years and, the, and there were floors probably above this. Oh yes, but, okay. Um, they, they, they modified these towers on many occasions during their lifetime. So this tower would have been Forgive my ignorance, 1200s-ish? No, no, nope. it, this More? was built Less? in around 1490. 1490. So that sort of time, so it was 15th century. Wow, amazing. And then at some stage, the, the, the Fitzgeralds actually burned the tower themselves to prevent Cromwell's army Oh, okay, there was it, a reason for and it. And then got it back and obviously remodified it at that time as well. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, Goodness. Well, it's lovely it's still standing, isn't it? Beautiful. Lovely. Then again, we found found sort of artifacts to suit the, the building. Stunning. Yeah. And all the woods, Jonathan, are predominantly oak, are they? We, no, well, we have a mixture of beech, ash and oak. Okay. The ash disease is a bit of a problem at the moment. So. Oh, really? Yes, there's a terrible disease of ash trees. It's going to wipe out most of the ash trees in Ireland. Yes, I know. Oh, what a view. They could certainly see you around for miles anyway, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, they could see for miles. You can actually <laughs> see Limerick City from up here. Really? On a, on a clear day, you'll see the cement factory. Amazing. <laughs> There's a smoke rising there. Amazing. They're so smart. And is there a river on the land? No, the water, not really. No. There's streams, but no, yeah. no, no river that you call okay. a river, unfortunately. So this is what we call the small sitting room. It used to originally, when Betty's mother and father lived here, it was called the smoking room. <laughs> there was it's always a, little, a smoking a little, room. <laughs> a little non-you <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> Beautiful and real cosy. Yeah, well, we've tried to keep this part of the castle, which is the old part, as much like a family home as it always was. Okay. And so this is when somebody can stay here in the room? This is all part and parcel, is it? Yeah, this is all yeah. part of it, when they stay in the castle, yeah. Beautiful. So we, we don't rent individual rooms to people, we only rent the place as a group, group accommodation. Group accommodation, yeah. yeah. So today we've got an, a, an American family arriving for a family holiday. Lovely. Mm. They'll hopefully adore it, I'm sure they will. So I'll get Karen to show you around downstairs, will I? Please, thank you. People spend a lot of time in here because you've got a lovely fireplace and uh, it's a nice room to sit around, a family room. And again, we've kept it as much the way it was when, when the family lived here. Betty and I actually lived here in, um, we came back from Zambia in 1978 and we lived in here and then we realised gradually that we couldn't keep it up. So we, that's when we started renting it out as a as A, a lot of upkeep on it. Mm. And are these all ancestors, Jonathan? Yeah, these would all be various, uh, uh, if you look on the back of some of them, we'll see here, look. Well, not, not this one. <laughs> some of them have the names of the people who are 
on oh, some of the yeah. back. That's a yeah. good idea. That's lovely. Yeah. Beautiful room. You could definitely spend a lot of time in here. It's very relaxed. Lovely. Write some letters. Beautiful. mom and dad yes. so he, she was also Betty she was and he was his name was Hastings Fitzmaurice Tilson Dean wow good but name we all called him Dixie <laughs> <laughs> much easier yes. <laughs> and he was and he a was, baron no well he would have had the title yes okay. but he was he was a doctor he was a radiologist in in the regional hospital in Limerick oh, and he worked in Ennis and he worked in I think he worked in Nina as well He travelled around because he was a radiologist. Yeah. This is the dining room. Beautiful, it's look a at that colour. dining room, yeah. We've actually just had the whole house this winter. We redecorated the entire property. So we had painters in for like six weeks, I think, over January and February. Oh, it's a lovely warm colour. You can imagine mm. a big Christmas dinner in here. Yes, it's a lovely place to have dinner in the evening oh. with, the, with the candles lighting and everything. And another wonderful fireplace. Mm. This was more in uh, the guy I was telling you about who rebuilt the house, Bob Muskerry. He was a concrete, <laughs> a fan of concrete. So this oh. is actually made out of concrete, but it's in his design. If you notice, over all the doors, that they have this strange design of. And the actually, door. the entrance. Your entrance. And the entrance right at the That's front right, gate. I that was that. all his thing. Yeah. He, he apparently copied it. He says from uh, a Maori longhouse design because he was in New Zealand when the house was burnt. Oh, so wonderful. Mm. And it's lovely to have something kind of different and some epic yes. paintings again. Yes. Some really wonderful ones. And this is where all your wonderful food will be laid out. Yeah. This is interesting, this painting. He's one of the family and we still have the clasp here that was on his oh. tunic. It's here in the display case. These are all little family items and Lovely. medals so and things that people have over the years. This one up here. Yeah. Goodness. Mm. They're lovely to have. Another great painting. I love the paintings. So this is the Baron's bedroom, which is kind of like our master suite. Beautiful. Look at the bed. Lovely bed. Wow. Definitely jump on that. And this is in prep for turnaround for your American guests this evening. Yes, that's right. Lovely. And this room has a wonderful bathroom. Ooh. So through here to the bathroom. Two big windows in here. Radiators. Nice view. Oh, look at this. Brilliant, Jonathan. Stunning. And you've got your shower and everything? A shower and a bath, yes. I always suggest to guests that um, he, he can sit here and have his gin and tonic while his wife's in the bath. <laughs> I wonder. And she'll also have a gin and tonic, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Well, and then Jonathan, across, across the hall we have the Baroness's room. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. When I turn 21 again, Jonathan, I'll come back here. Wow. Well, we do cater for lots and lots of people have birthday parties here, you know. They... Great idea. How many rooms mm. do you have? We have 13 bedrooms, so we can okay. sleep 25 people in total. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And beautiful crown up above. showers in over the baths because so many Americans prefer a shower to a bath. Of course. And, well, most people do now. <laughs> yeah. So this is a new structure that we've just put in this glass wall. Oh yes, I see the glass now. Mm. A sauna. <laughs> we have a sauna. Good idea. 
So. so if you get stuck in a cold winter Irish rain, yeah. you can heat up quickly. Or you need, or you need to detox. <laughs> you need to detox. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. It's lovely. Love the carpet. I love the way it kind of looks a bit Savari looking. Yeah, we call it the garden room. The garden room. <laughs> it's lovely. I love it. The guy in the portrait. Oh. And he actually took his pocket watch apart and it had all these features on it and he copied it. He made every cog of it himself. He was an incredible engineer. But I had it working when I first came. But we, with the renovations, we actually had to modify some of the weights and things in it. But we're, we're planning to try and drive the clockwork with a, maybe an electric motor at some stage. By the monkey, okay. Yeah, the, the monkey was supposed to have, after a battle, had rescued the infant son of the Fitzgeralds. He was a pet monkey living in the castle. And um, he rescued the, 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 the son and heir. Wow. As a baby, and um, he got pride of place then yes. ever since. Actually, there's a lot of um, Fitzgerald castles now. You know, there's a Waterford Castle, there's a Fitzgerald Castle, okay. and they actually have the monkey in their crest of arms Do they? because he saved the baby. Mm -hmm. The East Tower kitchen, yes. It's a lovely kitchen. Wow, brand new. And it's nice to work in because your friends can all sit around the table while you're doing the cooking. You know. Good you're idea. Not, you're not off in a back room. <laughs> Enjoying your cocktails for the evening. Yes. So this side, the East Wing, this accommodates, you said, Jonathan, 10 to sleep. 10 to sleep, yeah. It has five bedrooms on this side. Beautiful. And these products here, this is, um, my son makes granola. And this is this is his homemade granola. And beautiful and good for you. And so they is, get this, and this for is their breakfast. Elderflower cordial from our red elderflower trees. Yeah. So we just we just leave these in as a gift to the guests around. Beautiful. So th these were carriage doors and we blocked them up at the bottom and made made it into the dining room here. Another massive table. And the actual, and this is front, the front door is here and the entrance hall, which is nice. Yeah. Beautiful. This is my brother in law, Rob, who is the present Lord Muskery. Oh, very good. Yeah. Rob Muskery. Yeah. Hi, Rob. Beautiful room. So, this is the front entrance to this, the East Wing. <laughs> So Loving this it. is the downstairs bar, and it is actually the John door said, out to the smoking area. <laughs> smoking area up there, and it's built on the limestone, and it's lovely and cool. So if you're a really hot on a sunny day, come in and get yourself a lovely cocktail over here. Wow! And Jonathan, you mentioned as well before you do whiskey tasting. Yes, I have done whiskey tastings for guests. <laughs> Lovely. Would this be a good spot for your whiskey it's always, tasting? Well, we do it usually up in the tower. Also a great but, spot. Um, yeah. Bar is And it's always open. Irish whiskies and trying to explain the difference between Irish whiskies and Scotch whiskies. And big difference. Yes. I'm not a huge, I don't know, but there is a big difference, isn't yes. there? I always think it's And there Scottish. are so many whiskey varieties have come out in the last 10 years. I believe know, it. Yes. I believe it. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, hopefully your guests will enjoy this now for next week. And then you've got your smoking area. So this is above the dining room in the East Wing. Yes. Good view again. And your polytunnels. Yeah, we grow all our flowers and vegetables down in the garden. <laughs> you have dinner downstairs and a cocktail in the bar you can come up and spend the evening here Jonathan it's perfect can, yes. beautiful the back of 
of the clock. So we call this the clock suite. Oh, this is That's here. the back of the clock mechanism. So we put a window in when we, when we renovated this into a bathroom so that you could still see. Love that. The mechanism. The beds can be zipped and linked put together, together. For, as a double. <laughs> Notice the swallows have been adorning the windows with the. <laughs> it's for luck. <laughs> the little tiny window on this one. And you can lock it if you want. Have a little peek outside. Beautiful bed. Again, it has its own bathroom. And your bathroom is very spacious, there's loads of room. Beautiful. Lovely curtains. Yeah. Some we stoves. tried to choose the curtains differently for each, each bed, bathroom to suit the room. So They're yeah. having a party anyway, there's a dog there in that as well. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. The top room and the east wing. Beautiful. We don't have romantic names for the tower rooms, it's the tower room one, two and three. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Wonderful. And again, it has its own little bathroom. This one has a purpose-built shower. Wonderful. The great space again. Mm. So I'm just on my way back home again from Springfield Castle. And I have to say, I really enjoyed the tour from the lovely guy Jonathan. Um, it was so enjoyable and so relaxed and he told so much history about it. Um, and I can really imagine, you know, well anybody, not just people who are not from Ireland or from Ireland, whoever, but if they do privately rent the property and you get the, the West Tower, the Medieval Tower, um, where you can have events on there. And I mean, I was told they have can organise local Irish bands. You you would have heard early the Irish whiskey tasting. They have taco nights, pizza nights, movie nights, um, where they organise costume parties, medieval costume parties, and somebody comes in and explains about them. Um, so I mean, they really do put on a good show, you know, and your location is fantastic. You have so many grounds to walk around in. Um, the rooms are stunning. And I have to say, they're, everything is spotlessly clean of your, you know, and it's just, it's really, really wonderful and it's relaxed. And I'd, I'd say it really is a wonderful spot to stay in. And I know there's an American group checking in there now, probably around now. I'm sure they're going to have a fantastic week and I really just want to say thanks to Beth and Jonathan and Karen um, for taking the time I know they were really busy tonight they were making a mountain of pizza ovens and they were taking it up to the local village I think it is there's some event going on there this evening also they do have a, a cafe on the grounds it's called the green cafe but it's not just open for walk-ins, you'd have to pre-book your table. So they do open it for things like, I suppose, Mother's Day, Father's Day, communions, confirmations, that kind of thing, birthday parties. So um, you can check out when, when and what's on, on their Facebook page, Springfield Castle. I'll also link them down below, um, just below this video. So I really enjoyed it. I'm, I was been there for hours and I just really appreciate the time they're taking to, to go around with me. And um, so please like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I'm not sure where it's going to be next, um, but hopefully it'll be just as good as Springfield Castle. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.